Oh, I didn't know that happened. I know. He wasn't all, he wasn't the happiest about it. After he did end up losing, but perhaps this is his opportunity for redemption. Perhaps this is helping his opportunity uh, to like really hold down that he did indeed deserve that win. Let's see what we got. Everybody losing semis. This is it. This is we are approaching the final leg of the tournament, and there is a lot on the line. I'm excited to see it happen. I know that there are two options, and honestly, this may sound a little silly, but there are two options when, uh, you know, Steelix is feeling maybe not the happiest after a loss, and that is either channeling that energy positively, playing even better in the run back, or uh, the exact opposite. So How hopefully. successful was therapy? Right, uh, right. Is the question. <laughs> exactly. For, uh, for Steelix. Ooh. But no, not able to cover that roll on time. Helper makes it back on, just waits, and punishes with that dash attack. That thing is long. That thing is active yeah. as well. Ooh. But what a call out on that upbeat. Speaking you don't of. typically see that move punished. Right, ever. right. It's pretty interesting, too, in between the possible hits. Still a lot of confidence on that back air, but the up smash catching that landing, looking for a little too much. It's going to be it's two stocks apiece. A little too much dip on that chip. Yeah, if there is such a thing. Honestly, hold on. Can we talk about how many Thunders Helper has done and how little they have mattered? But also, like, that's it's fine. They've like, run down the clock. Exactly. And, like, at one point they will matter, and I know I understand that's why it's important, but... At the same time, like, you know, yeah, talk about it. <laughs> Was that just like a double jump cancel Blizzaga, or did he like no impact land? I want to see a replay of that okay, because that okay. looked uncomfortable. Ooh. Uh, uh, no. No. <laughs> but right now, Steelix, we'll back okay, later, yeah. coming back onto the stage Ooh. with a side beat. Good patience. Here's that thunder again. The roll in kind of not working out because that little hit of the Blizzaga. Ooh. Interesting. It's kind of scrambling right now, looking for a big hit. Air he dodge. Can make it. Yeah. I'm surprised that Helper oh. didn't get to counter that, but you know what? Yeah. Steelix went out way too far to decide. Right, right. Not in any position to be able to make it back onto the stage, and that was somebody who wanted a downer. He wanted that spike, and Helper really, really good DI on that up throw. If anybody knows how to DI that up throw, it will be the guy that plays Falco. Right. <laughs> okay. Forward throw going to open up the stage. I like the idea, but just a little bit short. It did something. Yeah, it did hit. It finally. did something. And the up smash is catching the regular get up 40%. Not too much to a Falco. Okay, it could be evened up right here. Good air dodge from Helper back to ledge. Bit of a trade here. I like the shot. I like that swat away, yeah. yeah? He was like, come on, whatever you're pressing, I don't want any of it. Right. Relax. You stay over there. Oh, Please. the weight not working out either. Good offensive option. The up tilt from Helper. Bit of a big swing, but no punish. So much shield pushback on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, surprising. Um, but okay, yeah, that reflector just reflecting all the way on the back still. Uh, just able to completely avoid that Thundaga. But gets that side B, gets that air dodge. But enough aerial drift to be able to make it onto the ledge and to safety. Mm. Holding down center stage. I like that forward air as well. Big damage from the lasers and the thunder the wrong way. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, is that it? Not no, quite. Okay, air dodging just to make sure he has enough uh, like horizontal drift, not committing to anything exploitable like side beat or the double jump too soon. Ends up just being pushed back to the ledge here. Uh, wow. I was waiting to see how that's that rough, ended. buddy. Yeah, that's that's tough. Not the way to put it. That was just unfortunate. Yeah, I couldn't argue with that. It definitely looked like uh, Helper was a fan, though. Really solid way to end that. After oh, yeah. what turned out to be kind of kind of rocky game one. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Hitbox, or Hurtbox as well. Yeah, Hurtbox extension. Falco yeah. stuck out his beak. Yes. And then this also, just a little too far left, as you mentioned, not able to get that ledge grab. Happens. Yeah. And then just good old-fashioned combo right here. A couple of aerials into a big old hit. Gonna take that stock. We are going back into it on small battlefield. Oh yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure out like what happened. I feel like Steelix might not have been like fully respecting some of Helper's hits on his own shield. And oh man, the time that Helper needs it, he has all of the execution that he needs. Right. He's getting 50% off of a rising short hop aerial. He's getting so much damage off, but then again, so is Steelix. Mm -hmm. Back to ledge here. Interesting interaction there, but it's gonna be a good one for Steelix. Helper getting spiked so many times today. Add another couple to the he had list. To not. What can you do but not in that situation? Yeah, you just gotta say, all right, 
Next uh, stop. That was the most shut up Sora. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to be like, Thunder, get out yeah, of here. No, <laughs> oh, another again. one, too. Oh, he's going out there. He's going another out there. One. And he gets it again. Steelix. Unbelievable. What a statement. This is what I wanted to see in game one. What I expected after maybe just a little bit of a wake-up call necessary. Oh, my God. Somehow that didn't living. kill? Oh, wow. That didn't kill. And he and makes it back onto the stage nonetheless. I, that did not feel like it should have happened, yeah? No, I think we need the last 30 seconds back, but it's fine. Going right back to neutral. There back come the, the spells. Honestly, I feel like Helper has also been utilizing more spells in this matchup. Oh, yeah. The freeze and, and the fire have also been coming out more. Give me one more. Oh, now I'm going to make it back. Oh, hold on. What Beautiful. is going on? They're gaming. Some peak off stage gaming, baby. Yes. Lay hit back kill. It does not matter. Damage is damage at the end of the day. And um, right now, Steelix is just looking so good. Mm -hmm. He is looking clean. He's looking confident. And uh, Helpu is just struggling wow. to be able to get any meaningful hits against him. Yep. Looking for some landing aerial. It's going to be the grab into the back throw. Try and set something up. No, this double could jump. Be, could be good. That's it. You're done. Oh. You're done. You're done. No. Okay, fine. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. I'll allow it. All right. So that was... Kind of what we expected from Helper, but the four air? No. Not going to do it. Yeah, not quite yet. Goes for another one of those funny little down airs. Helper, listen, even if it was an unsafe angle mix-up, Steelix was not ready for it. Right. And he was just in no position to reaction punish uh, wow. that angle. And Helper putting some stuff together right now. Okay, this is dangerous. One Every time I see Falco up be like that, I'm like, ooh, is that yeah. going to be another down beat? Oh my goodness, what a <gasps> ambitious dodge in, but the miss on the grab. Okay, thankfully it's a multi hit, not gonna get a huge punish. The re grab not getting punished either. Fighting back. Nice right now. directional to dodge back. Even yeah. if it was unsafe, help was just not ready for it. Steelix just needs to get out of the corner to help me applying so much pressure. That's gonna be the side B, that's gonna be the up Just high enough for that to be able to take that stock. And uh, Steelix, like, <laughs> me too, buddy. Yeah, honestly, we talked about, you know, the first game how it ended up being shaky. That one also was almost like a you know three to one game for Steelix and then turned into a nail biter for no reason. Oh, Helper yeah. just looking so comfortable for someone who is at such a deficit in that last stock. Oh yeah. That wasn't uh, looking so good for Steelix. He almost choked. Almost. He was almost looking like a, a, a vegetable with green leaves. I'm not gonna choke. Oh, that's a good one. Fuzzy one. It didn't narrow it down, but you know, I'm glad you specified. A lot of a lot of vegetables have green leaves. Actually. They have been known. Yeah. Okay. They've been known to do so. <laughs> well, we have another battlefield game, reminiscent of uh, game one. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm Falco, I don't mind this. This is right, battlefield. Right. Look at what I can do. Yeah. I'm gonna land on these platforms. I'm going to control these platforms thanks to my antiers. Ooh, thanks to my uppers. Mm -hmm. And now Steelix. <gasps> uh, okay. Okay. He Good wanted route. that spike. Yeah, I like that way too much for the. Uh, onto the shield grab there. Stuck at the ledge here. Oh, me too, Sora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We need like a dramatic like. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was speechless. Forward air definitely going to do it there. 130 after the hit, just about. Okay. Steelix this, is playing so good. Yeah, this is a very different game. But Helper, this is what we are looking for. This is for, Steelix right? channeling his negative emotions exactly, correctly. Right, you know? right. In like a healthy way. By beating up Helper at Xenosaga XLVI here in Loser Semis. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Steelix actually taking some notes. That I like those uh, aerial loops that you've been cooking up. Ooh, That's a little bit too early with the down B, right? Because I, I feel like also like Falco's up B isn't that fast enough that you have to go out there preemptively. No, no, no. You can just like wait. You can jump up just in case that he goes for like a high angle. Yeah, but yeah. that doesn't matter. That's just like super slight optimization stuff. And uh, the down tilt into the up smash, not going to be able to kill. Okay, going to fire Bird back to the ledge. I like all the spells, as we mentioned before. Helper definitely utilizing them a little more effectively. But good spacing from Steelix to dash out. Ooh. Okay. I would have went left. Okay, Steelix. Okay, making it back. Oh, big grab here. F2 should be able. Well, excuse me. Oh, back through is the kill here. Yes. Not yeah, F2. Yeah. My apologies. Okay. Yep. That, is that real? It is indeed. It's super, super plus That's on That's fake, hit. though. That's fake. <laughs> Thunder should never hit. Good stuff for, for Helper, though. Evening up the stocks. And we saw in that last game, Helper can definitely put the strings together and even up the percentages, too. Oh, yeah. Yikes. 
Okay, gonna be stuck off stage, but the super aggressive side B to be able to get back on. I thought that one was going to the ledge, and so did Helpu. But uh, Steelix, he wants those fast fall downings. He makes it back on thanks to those, uh, you know, wall jumps. But the question is, how do you actually effectively close against Ooh. somebody who doesn't even want to be on the stage? It seems. Right, right. Okay, little reflector back to the ledge here, and a nice, a surprisingly laggy move once you get the shield up. Okay. Some extension as well. Nice, nice. Wow, big swing. Okay, hold on. Mm. Helper really just wants a lot of these things to work that are just not working out for Helper. The down tilt and the up smash not connecting. And another bad hit of the up smash When as Helper well. is getting his follow-ups and combos, he's winning. Yeah. When he's not, he's not winning. Right? And I feel like that's like such an obvious thing to say, but uh, these situations just like keep on repeating themselves over and over again. Definitely. And another good opening for Steelix. Helper stuck at the ledge. He's going to go which way? He's going to go to the right, baby. Spacing out that Ooh. F smash nice and safe, right? Mm -hmm. If that was any closer, the uh, shield pushback would not have mattered as Falco stepped up. But good, just good, good spacing. Okay. You got the side special to the ledge. Back throw. Or, okay. okay. Throw. I thought we were going we to take it. But here we are. 171 and counting. Interesting. Okay. This has got to be it, right? More All than right. enough to be able to do so. Okay, helping cleaning up that stock with an upfield here. And now Steelix, ooh, leaned in a little bit too much into that back here as uh, Helper finds that up tilt. Not a huge punish out of it, though. And again, the amount of times that he's just dropping these follow ups. All right, Helper off stage, but has been really good from the ledge, I, I have to say. You saw Steelix take ooh. a breath. Yeah. yeah you yeah. saw me like, okay, you back out there. Interesting. Mm, not this again. Yeah. Good use of the shine to cover that horizontal space as well. Looking for the roll in. That's got to be, be a punch. But, oh, I don't know what that up smash was. Did he mean to dash up? And yeah. he just uh, ended up buffing the up smash itself. Wow. The last couple hits of forward air connecting. Some lasers for extra damage as well. Oh, dangerous spot to be in, though. I don't want to get caught off stage. Back that was throw a really sure. anti dodge. That was somebody yeah. who was nervous. For sure, for sure. The roll in. Several roll ins. Is that it? For oh, yeah. Sure, More sure. than enough to be able to do so. Yeah. Really good stuff. See, looks able to get the drag down for you into the down tilt. I am curious, though. I do want to see that drag down one more time. I just want to, I have an idea. I have a okay, thought. And okay. I don't want to say it unless I'm wrong. There uh, it is. You got the forward air. The drag down. Yeah, there it is. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. ha. It's sort of floaty. I'm actually not sure if he ended up pressing an air dodge or something. Or if that's just like sort of in hit stun. I didn't actually go back far enough as I should have, and I'm not going to be able to get there in time. But basically, this actually kind of ended up working out because of the fact that Sorgi landed after Falco, right, right. Uh, because of the fact that he was stuck in all that like landing lag uh, in his like hard landing lag animation, mm -hmm. and uh, he was just then able to get that kill. Um, so Steelix keeping his head in the game. Who um, I gotta say though, they just they all feel so close. They do, they do. Even that one. Again, great start for Steelix. Helper still bringing it back. And it all is just like this huge X factor, right? If oh, any yeah. of these things do work out for Helper, the counters, the conversions, if they work out for Helper instead of Steelix, it's Helper's game. But Steelix keeps going for those like ledge jump uh, neutral air dodges and then keeps on surprising his opponents with one last button. You know, he, he always finds a way to keep on swinging. Yeah. Oh, nice. The delayed mash. He turns it into a combo as well. And still able to cover in time. Wow. That is the beauty of being a fast follower, my friend. You yeah. can get there before the Ooh. opponent, still catch a landing, but that does not matter. Unfortunate part of being a fast follower is uh, getting edge guarded repeatedly. It's definitely been happening a lot. A lot. Steelix keeping the damage going in the back here, evens it up. Nice extension. Oh, the laser. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, gets that forward it off. And uh, Hello? he thought that he rolled behind him. It he had the like, good idea. Looked he looked like was, he did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's got to be a punish. No. Not quite. A little bit too late on those grabs again. Again, it, it feels like Steelix has the good idea with all of these grabs. All right. He ends up whiffing them for different reasons each time, but it does not matter. He is keeping his head in the game. And finally, that Thundaga did something. Yeah. <laughs> I may have uh, a little more than I asked for, but... Still, good answer there. Catching that off stage. 
pressure. Oh when Halpu is getting his hits in. Uh, yeah. When Halpu is getting his combos in, it is looking Ooh. like an entirely different game. Because instead of dealing 15%, he's dealing 40 right. off of a given into action. But we could say the same exact thing about Steelix. When these combos are connecting, they are looking at rough for Helper. Not going to connect there, though. Stuck at the ledge. Interesting Ooh. little interaction there. Even like Falco was like stunned. Uh, and oh no! Missing his air dodge, maybe holding down or something. Yeah. Uh, Steelix ends up, I don't know, falling to his death. Tragic. That, uh, that was a bit of a change of pace in terms of games, considering the rest of the set. They have generally been very close, but kind of just dodge into the ledge there. It's going to be Helper the two stock. First one we've seen so far. Interesting stuff, though. A lot oh, yeah. of really good conversions from the two of them. Yeah. But it, it just all comes down to the offstage play, as expected. Yeah, a little unfortunate like finish, yeah. uh, finish, excuse me, yeah. happened to the best of us. True, true. Uh, but now it's going to be going to a game five. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe Steelix and Helpy went game three. And then Steelix was knocked down to losing his side. So this would have gone back, of course. Uh, Helpy does not want to lose the gun back. Steelix does not want to lose two times in a row. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Because what a sad way to go to lose this Hoyer two times. Right. One is enough. Too much, frankly. But. It is Helper, and you can see why it happened. Helper's been doing so well for the, all of the tournaments so far. Helper is getting a little bit ambitious with those counters, right? Maybe yeah. getting a little bit comfortable now that it worked out a couple of times. Ooh. But uh, Steelix isn't falling for it anymore. Interesting. Okay. I feel like that was a misinputted ledge trap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like the falling up air. Got to be a punish. Put the up smash the wrong way. Helper immediately trying to respond. I'm starting to notice, though, these uh, Sora responses are not really too hot. It's not enough damage. It's an off day for Helping. Yeah. It's an off stock for Helping when he's not getting the full extent of his combo potential with right, Sawyer. Right. In the last game, he did get it. He got a lot of damage as a result. True, now true. he's not. Okay, stuck back off stage. I like that idea. Really good counter. Catching that aerial or lasers just for fun. Okay, Steelix actually very politely backing off as instructed. Oh, yeah. Giving up the ledge. Wow. Yep. Helper 91% already now. Neutral B into dash attack. Just such a solid confirm over and over. I like the fact that Steelix is going through these high recoveries. So he doesn't have to risk getting countered like that ever again. Mm -hmm. Goes through that up throw. Helper DIs in harder than anybody else that I've seen. And then commits to the Thundaga. That Steelix could be dropping down and below and under and gets the, uh, you know, fairy that he needed. Wow. Okay, good option. The Blizzard the wrong way is going to be a big opportunity for Steelix. 56% and the control of the stage keeping the combo going. Oh my goodness. Chess Apostle. I don't know if you all know about that Twitter clip, but <laughs> looking exactly the same here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. What the heck? So there was ambitious. a lot of what the heck's a side be like that on the ground. Right. You know, looking the, at your opponent dead in the face. The charge on the up smash. Puzzling gameplay, but you got to keep him guessing. Helper, solid response, two oh. stocks apiece. Okay. <laughs> Looking for the up tilt into the up, able to connect it, but alas, the angle in that move, a little bit tragic at times. Not killing at times, it really feels like it should be, but the neutral is going to be able to do it. Helper shaking that off. He does not want to go out here. He's made it this far. This is somebody that he has proven that he can beat today, who is currently up two to one stocks against him, and still a healthy stock at that. True. This is pretty rough. Probably the biggest lead we have seen for Steelix, but it's going to be tough. Oh, my oh, goodness. That oh, that neutral did not connect. It did uh, solid low profile that with a down tilt. That was ugly. Oh, no. What a way to go. Steelix proving that that counter pick did a lot for the matchup in a very fantastic finish for Game 5 oh, yeah. on Final Destination. Steelix played good. He yeah. played hot. He played with momentum. He uh, kept on holding in and... Man, his damage output that last game especially was looking phenomenal. But, uh, you know, I, I hate to be, like, repeating myself this often, but there was just a huge difference in the games that Helper did combo, parentheses, he yes. won them, right. uh, versus the ones that he didn't. Even he the lost them. The spells, too, we saw, more so in, like, the first couple of games. Yeah. They were just really working out more for Helper than they had previously in the bracket, but they just weren't connecting here. We saw the Thunder finally get punished with that drop down forward air from Steelix offstage, and just kind of... In general, a lot more interactions mm -hmm. working out for Steelix. You're just working harder than you have to. You know, right, you're right. playing uh, too honest of a game if it's just neutral and new action after neutral and new action and not the good stuff, the cheater stuff, the combos. The um, stuff John Numbers likes to do. Yeah, that's right, baby.
We got Steelix going up against John Numbies, and I got to say, this is a fascinating matchup. I've seen Tilde and uh, Numbies go at it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I don't believe I've actually seen Steelix and Numbies in recent memory. Uh, from, I just haven't personally gotten okay. a chance to cast that, but I'm sure that's happened at some point. So.